Well, nights like these are just what you hope for as a spectator. A warm welcome. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and alongside me is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player Stuart Robson. And the focus is very much on Serie A, the top division here in Italy. It's Salernitana up against Milan. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. So we can check on the starting lineup. Well, it's a 4 3 3 formation with a centre forward and two wingers. So it's important that the midfield players give support to the striker whenever the ball goes wide. They can't allow him to be isolated. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Well, who will be the player to decide the outcome, to determine the course of events? No reason at all why it won't be this man, Stuart. What do you anticipate seeing from him? Well, Derek, we know he can score goals in many different ways, but I think he's at his most dangerous when he's running with the ball and hitting his shots with power. It's almost unstoppable for the goalkeeper. That's what makes him a great finisher. Plenty of support here. Piontek. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Brahim. Chance to attack using wit. And whipped into the box. Absolutely nothing wrong with the idea, but no end product. And they'll get ready for the throw-in. possibilities inside the box and a goal kick will be next they've regained possession Ibrahimovic crossing into the middle but at one point on its flight I wondered if the keeper would have difficulties but no problems at the end and they'll be happy to have regained possession Ibrahimovic He'll be delighted to have won the ball, having made that difficult challenge. Let's just clarify the injury situation. Our man on the side of the pitch is Jeff Shreves. Nasty landing on the shoulder for him there, and he's in real discomfort. He's a tough boy, I think he'll stay on. Cheers, Jeff. He must finish! The save was a good one. Takes the shot. Now well, that's fine goalkeeping. Real concentration. Behind for another corner. Can they cash in? Well, that's a foul, and it sets up a free kick in a dangerous position.
Thatcher. Well, let's see it again. As soon as he struck that, he knew it was going in. Although he's put that much movement on the ball, he controls it perfectly. It's a great free kick. So the game has been restarted. It's Milan in front here. Inching towards half-time, it's Milan with the advantage. Stuart, your thoughts on what you've seen from them in this first 45? And another one! Two quick goals! Will it turn out to be the two-punch knockout? Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect. And then what a strike. That's hit with such ferocity. Certainly no stopping that. That's a great goal. So the ball rolling again. 2-0 the score. Trying to really get at the opposition here. Well, the threat was very real. Marvellous defending. Room to manoeuvre on the wing. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Will he finish? And the ball is loose. And second time around, he scores. But the keeper left to wonder what his defenders were doing. Well, when you see this again, I think the goalkeeper's very unlucky. He makes a good initial save, but the ball comes off of him, rebounds straight to an attacker, and the finish is excellent. Milan. On with the game then, and it does appear that Milan are out of sight. So two minutes of stoppage time here. No space for them here. And with that, the first half draws to a close. Well, there's a sound reason why we're focusing on him. He's making his presence felt in attack, Stuart. Yeah, he's been brilliant, hasn't he? He looks such a threat every time he gets the ball. And of course, he scored a very good goal. Underway in the second half. And after such a lopsided first 45 minutes, is it possible to think they could turn this around? Just the challenge that was required. Tomori. Brahim. On to Ibrahimovic. Giroud. Well, in the end, it was rather straightforward for the goalkeeper, Stuart. Well, he has to do better there. That's a really poor finish. Diaz. Giving them a different option by moving in field. Well, he deserves praise for inventiveness, but not troubling the keeper. Dylan Braun was spot on with that challenge and the flag does go up offside
Kandreva. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Davide Calabria. Chance to attack using width. Crossing into the middle. Able to deal with the threat. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. And the pass not quite accurate enough. And a throw in then. Substitution time it is here. Teo Hernandez. Olivier Giroud. Tremendous intuition to win it back. And now passing it through. And this time it's in. Fabulous goal. And just look at the celebrations. Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. But there's still plenty for him to do. Under all sorts of pressure from the defender, he's just able to keep him at bay and finishes with a plumb. It's a great goal. No shortage of goals in this match. 3-1. Good tackle. It'll be a throw. And into the last 20 minutes. Diaz. And winning it back. Vilhena. Piontek. Promising sequence. Able to get a body in the way. Sandro Tonali and Milan could get in behind the defence Ibrahimovic the options at the back post here and it all counts for naught ten minutes to go then Vilhena it might be well, he's missed the chance, and the keeper didn't have to do very much. Giroud. Well, a classic example of how to intercept. Oh, he's given the ball away. And support available. And well, if you're wondering about added time, two minutes it'll be. Diaz. Now with Giroud. So there it is, the referee says that will do it for this contest and Milan, the winners. What did you make of it all? Well, Derek, they were better than their opponents in all aspects of the game. They defended well enough, they dominated midfield and they created chances as well. It was a great performance. Well, Stewart, he really has had a lot to say for himself out on the pitch. Well, he should be happy with his goal and the win, but he'd be slightly annoyed that he hasn't scored a couple more. Overall, though, I thought he was excellent.